you're in, if you're participating in a constellation and you're able to accurately represent someone you know nothing about, you have succeeded at dropping your own self-identity and moving into this space of emptiness. That's happened. And I think if you notice how that feels, there's a kind of distinct feeling about it, you know? Does the energy stay with you? No. I mean, it theoretically could, but right. when you, when the constellation is ended... Um, that energy source then... Right. Does not keep yeah. and its she will, life tied to you. Yeah, it's ended. She will say, now go back and sit down as yourself. Okay. Um, I want to add yeah, something. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What happens often is that, um, and that's why it's so powerful to do this work in a group setting, that very often a person's own issues, own family situations that they may or may not be aware of. Some may be so difficult that they may not actually be allowing themselves to feel them. So if they are asked to represent somebody or even just sitting outside in a field, it could very often happen that they, something gets triggered within them that's actually from their own system. It's almost like a gift from somebody else's family system system that then allows an open door for you to get cracked, yeah? Mm -hmm. That you then somehow realize, oh my goodness, something is happening. And it could be that at times our own awareness doesn't acknowledge that it could possibly be ours because maybe it's too scary or too, you know, ugly or, you know, it's a secret, we can't touch it. But very often when we are, have a resonance with the field, particularly if we sit down afterwards and it kind of it's lingering, most often it's because it has resonated something within us. Are you talking like spot it, you got it kind of thing? Like, is it seeing something in somebody that you don't like? Do you want to give an example? Something? Yeah, if you have an example. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll give an example. Huh? Um, yeah, uh, I was in just sitting like we're sitting now and there was a constellation happening and the woman says to the other care to the other person, I'm sorry, I did the best I could. And as I was sitting there, I realized that that, um, that sentence and that exchange had such um, a purpose for this life. Like nothing got wasted in that constellation. It wasn't just for the people who were in it, it was for everyone who was in the room. And I'm sure if anybody who was there was asked about that, it would have been relevant to anyone who was sitting there. But for me, uh, I was able to hear that and then um, let that be healing to different relationships I had and to myself. So I, I did the best I could in different situations. So it was this healing moment that had not only relevance for the people who were in it, but also for the rest of us who were in it, sitting there. So kind of yeah, it's a great example. And, and that happens all the time. Just mm -hmm. being in the field, we see people healing deep issues in themselves. They're not doing the constellation, they're just here. But the field encompasses everyone that's here, and there's, it's a healing intent. And uh, we've had people come with a clear problem they want to address and do a constellation on, who by the time it gets around to them, it, that problem has been solved and healed and released. Uh, and, and I've experienced that myself with things. That, and there's a lot of insight that develops. There's a lot of um, cognitive realizations and truths that just dawn on you uh, about your own past, your own behavior, experiences you've had. Um, and you know, that, that happens all the time. It's a very rich and powerful experience for everyone, including not just the people who are the focus of the work, but anyone in the field gets, it can get stuff stirred up and can certainly get things healed and resolved. And you can also gain a tremendous amount of insight and realization about a different way of seeing something that's been problematic for you. Mm -hmm. 